welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. I reacted to this guy actually a year ago, I think, and this song has come up so much in the comments. It's Louis Miguel and La Uncondicional. I hope I said it in a lovely Spanish accent. It's probably completely wrong. Oh wow, the audience. Okay, before he gets to the big bit, look, his voice is so solid. His technique is really on point. His breath support is good. He's lovely and relaxed. He's not pushing. And I could hear as he was going up. Na, 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 na. He really under understands his registers. He really understands his voice and how it feels in his body and what shapes he needs to create to get him up to those high notes. What people's main mistake is, is they try and push their chest voice up to those high notes. But actually it's it's always difficult because everyone feels this a little differently, but it's about finding that lighter feeling for a lot of people or some people feel it kind of coming up, the resonance coming up and above. Other people really feel the shape, so really opening up that shape and allowing the sound. It's all about allowing the sound rather than pushing that sound out and he's got that. Yes! Yeah! It's a great mix. Look how much he was opening his mouth. It's really, really open. It's really, really relaxed. It doesn't sound pushed at all. As I say, that placement, he just really understands his voice well enough to get up to there without pushing, but he's adding that intensity by using the consonants. So like those T's, he's really letting the air build up behind the T so that you get this kind of pop of sound. Um, those consonants, people often feel like they have to put in a lot of effort to make a big dramatic sound, but actually the feeling of the vowels, when you get it right, it kind of feels effortless and you want that intensity to come from things like the consonants and the attack and he definitely does that. Is this your favorite Louis Miguel song? Or is it Louis? Tell me in the comments if I'm completely wrong. It's so nice that the audience can sing.
I love this as a uh, singing tool, having bits, bits of songs that people can sing as part of. It just brings the audience in. It makes you feel part of the song. It makes you feel like the song wouldn't exist without the audience within it. And it builds a bond between the singer and their fans. And I think that's lovely. <laughs> See, <laughs> he gets to enjoy the song as well. I've never seen someone um, crowd surf in a non-rock environment. It's a bit of a heart throw, babe. Hmm. Can we just talk about how wonderful this montage of like him and the audience is there's such a brilliant fan connection there I feel like people just really love him and um the way that he's responding it's kind of nice to see that he is really trying to bring people into his performance it's beautiful and the montage beautiful Okay, it's actually doing something really cool. Instead of hitting those notes head on, ba, 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 he's doing the little um, ornaments up to each note. Ba, 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 ba. So he's going slightly underneath it, one note below, and then just flicking up to it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> kind of like that, if I'm overdoing it so you can really hear. I'm sure he'll do it here. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, cool. Oh, I like that. Yes. Do you know what I love about so many Latin artists is that I don't think many people in the UK or the US really have the sense of rhythm in the sense that he does here. That there he was using those contrasting rhythms with the the time signature there. So it, you get this like matching, but um, at odds feeling. It was when people understand rhythm that well, it's really, really interesting. And I feel like people, especially in the UK, we go for like a big high note or whatever. And that's really cool and really exciting. But this is a different way of doing things. And it's really exciting for me to hear because I don't hear it that often. Yes. Like there. Is this improvised? <laughs> How is it? Oh my goodness. I just realized how high this is. This is so high. And he has so much tone. Oh, not many people can do that. <laughs> that is great. He has, um, like this was a C. 
Oh my goodness. Normally, um, you start to lose the warmth of your tone up this high. And um, I mean, he just understands his registers. He's obviously just built like this as well. You know, he's built with that range, but pff, it's not easy. <laughs> Okay, so he's combining like the best, the best. Ah, there's not, I don't know many singers who can sing that high um, with that tone um, and that warmth. Um, he's combining kind of in my mind, a lot of the best techniques from um, UK singing and Latin singing. And it's really amazing to hear you. Oh. On his breath support, he held that for blooming ages. Amiga, so Okay, I get it. I get why you all wanted me to listen to this. That was really good singing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.